Hi, I'm Addison Wiley from Wiley Writes with another episode of Does It Float, a web series where I rewatch some movies and I tell you if they hold up on a second viewing. On this webisode, we take another crack at Joseph Gordon Levitt's directorial debut, Don John. There's only a few things I really care about in life my body, my pad, my ride, my family, my church, my boys, my girls, and my porn. Don John's general reception was. It's a pretty good directorial debut from someone who we never really expected wanted to direct a movie. And my response to Don John was, it's not only a pretty good directorial debut from an actor we never expected would direct a movie, but it's a pretty good movie overall. I thought it was very smart with tackling this particular club social scene. And that entire first half of the movie feels like a big party. When that energy tones down and we quietly focus on this addiction Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character John has to internet porn, the film still has our attention. We definitely feel that energetic drop as the film becomes something different, but we're still very interested in what's going to happen to this character. Now watching this a second time, it was a different experience. I still think the film is pretty good and it definitely holds water on a second viewing, but that first part with the excessive visual flair almost feels like it's over the top when you're watching this on a smaller screen. It still fits in this exciting first half, but the content is pushed in our face so furiously that it actually becomes a film that's hard to get into at first. How'd you get my Facebook? Oh, get right to it. Yeah. I just looked up your name. I didn't tell you my name. Well, obviously you did, because I looked it up. No, I definitely did not tell you my name. Yeah, you did. I think I would remember that. Well, no offense, but you were pretty wasted the other night. I mean, so was I. Can I get you so guys some I. drinks? Yeah, Diet Coke, please. Yeah, Coke. Coke and a Diet Coke. I'll be right back to take your order. All right, I had a few drinks the other night, so I may not have remembered telling you my first name, but I definitely did not tell you my last name. I'm telling you. Now, don't lie to me. Hey. Look, you don't know me, so I'm going to let you off the hook this time. But trust me, in the future, you'll be much happier if you always tell me the truth. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be happier? Well, you don't think I can make you happy if I wanted to? Watching this on a smaller scale viewing area, everything just seemed so louder. But when those quieter moments arrived where Don John gets very serious and wants to address addiction, I felt myself settling down as well and feeling more invested into the story. And maybe that's because the home viewing environment adds such a personal intimacy to uh, a movie experience. It's easier to make that transition from a loud, colorful setting to a more subdued narrative. So all in all, two separate viewings, two separate equations, but they all equal to the same answer. And that answer is Don John is worth your time. It's clever and well-performed and shows a very promising future for Joseph Gordon-Levitt in the director's chair. Don John is now available on DVD, Blu-ray, and VOD. Thank you for watching this webisode of Does It Float, and I'll catch you next time.